what a party. Buckingham Palace rocked with performances by icons Diana Ross we talk about it now. and Rod Stewart. He had everyone, including young Prince George, singing along. The cameras also capturing this sweet moment between Kate and Princess Charlotte, who clearly have a very special mother-daughter bond. Check out the light show in the sky. That image of the Queen's pet Corgi was created with drones. The Queen didn't make the concert, but she did appear in a pre-recorded sketch with Paddington Bear. Thank you for everything. That's very kind. Then the Queen displayed her wicked sense of humor, showing Paddington Bear that she also enjoyed marmalade sandwiches. I keep mine in here. On Sunday, Her Majesty made a high-tech cameo in a parade through London as a hologram of her younger self. The golden carriage is from her coronation 70 years ago. The parade, enjoyed by Prince William and his family, and once again, little Prince Louis stole the show. The four-year-old just couldn't sit still. He threw a tantrum, covering his mom's mouth, blowing raspberries at the future Queen of England. It was Louis's grandfather, Prince Charles, who saved the day. He managed to calm the youngster by bouncing him on his knee. Noticeably absent from the festivities, Meghan and Harry. Their appearance at St. Paul's Cathedral on Friday was their only public sighting of the entire weekend. CBS foreign correspondent Holly Williams was there. We didn't see them at any of the other events. Now, what we don't know is whether um, that was their plan, that they only wanted to play a minor role in these celebrations, or whether that was a decision that was made by the palace. They bid what some say was a hasty departure and flew back to Los Angeles on a private jet Sunday, while the celebrations continued without them. That's Harry in a car on his way home from the airport. Meghan is in the back seat with their two children. Children. Back in London, the Queen wrapped up the four day party with one final appearance on the balcony. She smiled and she waved. I thought it was an incredibly poignant moment.